The Google Certified Professional Cloud Security Engineer exam is what I just passed at the beginning of 2022. And I wanted to just share my personal experience with that. I'm Jan Stoneman, and I'm a cloud architect with over 20 cloud certifications. I took the associate engineer exam of Google a couple years back, so I had that foundation. And I work in AWS on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, a half a year ago, I decided to go for the professional cloud network engineer exam because I feel like anytime I understand networks in the cloud better, it just helps anything I do in the cloud because networking touches everything. And sure enough, that actually helped me on the security exam too. As I was considering the security engineer exam, I went ahead and took the practice exam or the sample exam that Google offers on the exam website. And I passed it on my first try before studying specifically for that exam. And I think in large part, that's due to the preparation I did for the network engineer exam. I felt like a lot of the questions were a simpler subset of the network engineer exam because a lot of security is simply networking, firewall rules and so forth. And a big part of the network engineer exam was also IAM, which of course was covered on the security exam as well. So if you're considering the security engineer exam and you want to give yourself more of a challenge, you could do the network engineer exam first and then do the security exam. So you know, on a scale of zero to 10 of difficulty of all the 20 plus cloud certifications I've done, I thought the network engineer exam was pretty much a nine or a 10, whereas the security engineer was perhaps a, a six or a seven. After passing the sample exam, I did additional preparation, however, because one area that is specific to the security engineer exam are the security specific services like DLP, which is the cloud data loss prevention service. And to do that specific preparation for this exam, I took the A Cloud Guru course on that exam. In addition to the A Cloud Guru course, I would definitely listen to Google Cloud Next and other Google Cloud channel videos to deepen your understanding of services you're interested in. Even though hands-on practice is the best way to practice, I didn't have to do a lot of it for this exam because I had already covered a lot of that when I was preparing for the network engineer exam. Now, how was my exam experience? Well, I chose the online proctoring experience and my proctor showed up 40 minutes late because they had a high test volume that day. Now, here's a pro tip. When the proctor finally showed up, I asked, do you mind if I come back in two minutes? I just wanna use the restroom one last time since I won't be able to use it in the exam and since I was just delayed 40 minutes. So if you're delayed, consider asking for that favor. The proctor did grant that request and that definitely helped me last uh, through the exam with more focus. A couple other things I wanna mention about the exam experience was that unlike with an AWS exam on Pearson View, this was Criterion and their software does not have a whiteboard. So if whiteboarding is part of your exam strategy, don't count on it for the Google exam. And the other part I wanna mention about the exam experience, drinks are allowed. So take a coffee or a water with you that might help you stay awake and focus. So that's it for the Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Security Engineer exam. I hope it helped. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below about how you prepared for the exam.